G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a SharePoint document library directly into Teams. So this can be quite useful if you're already using a SharePoint site and you want to embed either a folder that's in a SharePoint site or a document library in a SharePoint site straight into Teams as one of these tabs. You can just do that and then you can open the files directly from there, edit the files in Teams and um, you can also do it in SharePoint. All of the changes are synced in both because it's live editing the SharePoint data. It's not actually doing it in Teams, it's in the SharePoint site. So to actually add the SharePoint site uh, document library, what we're going to be doing is adding this retail group document library that I've got here. So if I hit this little plus and we select document library, we want to go to the retail SharePoint site. Oh, and if you want, you can post to the channel about this new tab. If you don't want, just untick that. And we're going to use the documents uh, document library that's inside of SharePoint. And retail documents, save. So now what this will do is up here in the top, you'll have retail documents and it will embed this SharePoint view of the document library in there, which you can see this is the same document library. We've got the same documents in both Teams and SharePoint. And you can edit these documents right inside of Teams without having an open word or anything. So let's say you wanted to edit that one. You can click on it. and then scroll down to whatever you wanted to change and just change some stuff. So then that'll just be live synced to SharePoint. You can use the co-authoring features as well if you want to use that. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So that's how you actually embed a SharePoint library, a SharePoint document library into Microsoft Teams. Anyway, if you're interested to see more, I've got a playlist. It'll be linked down the bottom um, with more Teams videos, and I'll see you next time.